Welcome back guys, this is Crafty Fox, and today we are making the Oregon Coast Scenic Railroad uh, coaches that go along with uh, this Heisler steam locomotive that we made last time. So this is again part of Ian Jeffrey's uh, commission, so thanks to him for making this video possible. And yeah, these are um, two coaches, they're really similar. Uh, the one right here next to the locomotive, it's going to be an open top carriage. Well, this one has a roof, so that's two different carriages. I guess you can use it for your scenic railroad if you have any. Like, you could sit in the seat and look around, I guess, for a ride. So, yeah, let's get started. So, first thing we're going to do, we're going to use green terracotta. Uh, two blocks above the tracks and make a 2 by 5 Like so. Alright, so then we're going to make this part 26 blocks long. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 14, 5, 26. Do the other side, same thing. Right now we're only tuning the top part. All right, and then let's connect the back with a two by five again. Then we're gonna go ahead and take uh, stone brick stairs, put one right here, and another one diagonally up. So these are kind of stairs to get up, and like this green part, that's gonna be sort of like a gate. Let's do same thing in the front. So this is pretty ground level. Like if you had a platform here, you can easily get in if the door was open. All right, so then we're gonna take a cyan terracotta, fill in the floor for this. So go right here, fill in the space. And I do wonder if, I, okay, that's good. Because the sides is gonna be mostly green, so that's gonna cover up the floor. Yeah, just fill this in. Uh, this tutorial should not even take that long because it is a pretty simple build. And you get out of here. Oh, I stuck myself, didn't I? All right, so after we do that, let's take green terracotta again, add a little wall right here right next to the stairwell. And then we're gonna take iron trap door, fill in the first and the back rows like this. And also the inner wall, fill that in as well. Then we're gonna go ahead and add some seats. So we're gonna take some stone brick stairs, just place that right there. And just put it like every other block so you have plenty of seats available to sit in for the ride. And the back ones are going to be pushed up against the wall. And I'm not sure if this is actually how it is, but I think this is what it looks like. Because <laughs> it's really hard to find a lot of videos and pictures of the inside of this. Alright, so then let's add, I think it's like some kind of logo. Right here, just use yellow terracotta. Two blocks of space right there. And the other side, do the same thing, but on the other end like that. Then the rest of the layer is just green terracotta again. Just fill that in all the way. Then this side, do the same thing. And then we're going to take a wooden trap door, add it, um, <laughs> fold it up against the stairs. So it's kind of it all together and once we are done with that we're gonna add some wheels so I'm gonna use hopper wheels and that's gonna be a block of space between that and the stairs so right over here hopper skip a block hopper and the middle of it we're gonna use another brick slab for that so we just plug in the 
inside of that. And there will be another bogey in the back, same thing. So block of space right here, and then hoppers. Another brick slab between everything. Like so. Then we're going to take stone brick slab, skip two blocks, fill in the middle three. Go to the other side, do the same thing. Skip two blocks, fill in the middle three. And yeah, that's pretty easy. Alright, so then uh, next, <laughs> what I could do, let's take stone brick slab, just add one right here under the gates. Make it a little more beefy. And then I guess we'll just take iron trap doors and fill in the sides of it. Because there is sort of like this white railing that goes across and it's like very short. So that's what this is. You know, you don't want people falling off the train, do you? It's actually like the first time building like this type of car. All right, so yeah, that is, wait a minute, we need a coupling. Even though that is a very small detail, let's place a coupling right here in the middle. Because if we don't have that, then we can't attach it to anything. So yeah, that is pretty much it on how to build the open top carriage. Now we're gonna add uh, the roof to it. So this is like the second car. So we're gonna take a birch fence, stone brick slab, stone slab, and yeah, we're gonna start over here. Take apart these iron trap doors and make a two by two of these fences. And do the same thing on the other side. And after we do that, we're gonna have a block, well, two blocks of space between each of these pillars, so go right here, skip two iron trap doors, just place one and keep on doing that all throughout the train. I mean, the carriage. Why did I say train? Well, it kind of is a train. And the side. Alright, and then we're going to make it two blocks tall, so just add another fence to this. So this is a bit tedious since. It is such a small target to place it on. See, I'm just walking on the seats right now. Then the other side. All right, so after we do that, let's add the roof. So take stone brick slab and add it to the top of this and extend it to reach the edge of the car. Just go alongside the whole entire car. All the way to the front part of the car and go around. So this is basically like a border. Should be the same thing on the other side. Of course, it'd be weird if this is asymmetrical. in the back and the middle part uh, we're going to take another slab just add one in the middle so it kind of points up then we're going to take a stone slab fill in the rest like this all the way across and this train actually has uh, several more of these cars well I mean like coaches and stuff like ones that actually look like regular coaches but I'm not going to make that because there's like way too many, way too much of a combination. So I'm just going to be building uh, the ones he sent in the picture that had these types of cars. And yeah, that should be pretty much it on how to build the Oregon Coast Scenic Railroad uh, rail cars, I guess. These carriages. I hope you guys enjoy this video and thanks again to Ian Jeffries. For a commission is built. If you guys like this video, please hit that like button below. And if you haven't already, please subscribe because I will be uploading more videos like this in the future. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.